The Backrooms is mainly known for its horrifying creatures and entities that lurk around deep inside of its complex. Things like the Smiler, the Bacteria, Wretches, and tons of other creatures that literally just want to eat your face. But you might be surprised to know that there are actually a few passive and downright adorable Aww. entities that don't get as much recognition as they should. And today, I'm going to be going over one of those creatures, named Entity 29, also known as Blubcats. Leave a like if you think these things are just stupidly cute, because they are. Without any more wasting time, let's get into the explanation, and let's see what's up with these little cats. Blubcats have been given a class 0 2D plus safety rating and are not overly aggressive, but they are sentient entities. They take the appearance of round blobs with the overall look of a house cat. The majority of these blub cats have similar features as the real life counterparts, except for the fact that they look like a balloon. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, as well as colors and personalities. Now, interestingly enough, no photographs or videos of blub cats have ever been recorded, so the ones you're seeing right now in this video are drawings or recreations of the entity. And the reason there's no actual images is because blub cats are very skittish when cameras are pointing at them. It's almost as if they know they're being recorded, and they're trying to avoid it for some reason. You can literally point a camera at one, even if its back is facing you, and it'll still run away. It's like it knows that you're trying to watch it or something. So blub cats lack all organs that are inside real life cats, and they don't actually have any nerve endings or anything like that. And because of this, they cannot feel pain. They can jump from high places and land just fine. They can be squished like a pancake and they'll be okay. They can be stretched and bent and anything, and they're utterly pretty much invincible. The fur on a blub cat is extremely thick, more so than normal, and they have a ton of loose skin hiding under the fur. This is because, like I said, the entity is like dough. It can flatten and rotate and contort in any way possible. They're like a stress ball or something. Blub cats have whiskers and ears and tails, much like the real life counterparts. And the only difference is two main things. The eyes on these creatures are huge and they're just like cartoonish looking. And the mouths are not really mouths because they do not open and blub cats don't eat at all through their mouths. And this is because they have no organs inside. The way they sustain themselves is seemingly by absorbing whatever they're eating through their skin, which is quite strange, but that's pretty cool. I wish I could do that. There are a multitude of variants of these blub cats, like I said, with different personalities and different behaviors. I'll get into all that in a second, but first I do wanna talk about the actual overall behaviors of these entities. The behavior majorly depends on what variant you come into contact with. Most of them, however, are extremely affectionate and extremely loving. Despite them not eating or needing food, you can actually tame your very own blub cat just by giving it an edible substance. It's kind of like you're giving them a peace offering. It's been proven that harmful things like liquid pain have no effect on blub cats, and things like almond water and Lucky O milk are commonly used to tame them. The entity communicates through a variety of high-pitched squeaks that kind of sound like dog toys to us. But when they communicate, you can tell how happy they are based on how high-pitched the squeak is. The higher it is, the happier, the lower it is, the angrier. It also seems that blubcats can telepathically connect to wanderers and talk in their own language to the wanderer without moving anything. They can just put their words in the wanderer's head, and this is how they communicate to outsiders. Blubcats tend to travel alone and float around the safe backrooms levels, but some of them travel in packs of three to five. These packs have been named globs. And in a funny twist, blubcats only seem to travel in packs if they're going through a dangerous level or a place where the environment is not forgiving. And they travel in packs to kind of like ward off entities. If a level has a class 4 or 5 difficulty, then you'll likely see them in a glob, but if it's a 2 or 3 difficulty, they'll likely be alone. Blubcats have also been seen getting along with other entities, like partygoers and party boopers, although they don't seem to like it when harmful entities like partygoers chase humans because they've been heard growling in a low pitch. 
These blub cats are pretty much invincible due to their biology. Like I said, they're putty or like a dough ball or something. They can't be broken, but they can be bent and ripped and torn and it's really funny. I imagine it's just like a giant squeaky toy. And because of this, they actually enjoy being thrown around and squished. That's what they get their fun out of. The cats also really aren't scared of anything besides cameras, so they're not afraid to run through dangerous places and they're really not afraid to approach humans either. And just like every other entity in the back rooms, these blub cats have other variants. I want to get at each of them right now. These are very different, so make sure you listen up. Black blub cats are the most common type that you'll see or run into. They are very passive, very lovable, and they're known for their thick black fur. They're also not a large variant, they're pretty small and weigh around 5-ish pounds. You can tame a black blub cat with Lucky O milk or almond water. White blub cats are very, very, very rare, and they like to hide from everything, and they're really good at it. They do it almost as if it's a game. The white ones tend to be longer and more cylindrical shaped, like think of a breadstick or something, and they're actually the most similarly shaped to a house cat from real life. Gray blub cats enjoy being thrown. They love to be picked up, love to be thrown, and they love to float around different levels. They have thick gray fur, and they also have folded ears, which sets them apart physically from the others because normally they have pointy, sharp ears. Brown blub cats are egg-shaped blub cats. They have the same personality as the black blub cats, and that's literally it. Calico blub cats are the most lovable and the most friendly type of the entity, but they're also the hardest to tame. If you do that though, these calico ones seem to ward off most of the bad entities in the back rooms. So you can tame one and carry it around levels to almost act as like a, a safe buffer or something. It'll scare everything off. They're also the biggest physically, and they can weigh up to 10 pounds. Imagine just like a massive five foot long, 10 pound floating cat. That's what these are. Now finally, the only aggressive type of blub cat, the ginger blub cat. These are very violent by nature, and they really can't cause harm to humans, but they're just aggressive in general. If one runs at you, you can just kick it away because it's, again, like a ball. But these ginger blub cats have fluffy reddish-orange hair, and they weigh the same as a black blub cat. They like being squished, but they don't like being stabbed or thrown, and they also don't like it when you sneak up on them. So if you avoid doing those things, you could probably tame a ginger blub cat. If you encounter one or any of these variants of cats, squish them, give them a peace offering of Lucky O milk or almond water, and pet them. But never under any circumstance approach a ginger cat without food or water because it'll try to attack you out of anger and you'll have to fight off this floating cute cat ball. I really want to tame all of them, bro. They're so cute. That was the blub cat entity, one that you might have never heard of, but I think it's also one of the most cute and wholesome little creatures in the back rooms. I love when the back rooms does stuff like this and adds these weird, quirky entities. I think it just makes it so unique, and I really enjoy it. Hope you did too. All these little things do is float around and squish their way through levels. They live on levels like 11. They're so unproblematic. I love it. Leave a like if you did too. Thank you for watching. If you want to help the channel out, leave a like and subscribe. They're both free. If you want to check out my description below for the links and stuff and all that jazz. Also leave a comment telling me what other stuff I should do. Thank you so much sincerely for all you do for me, and I appreciate it. Um, I ran out of things to say.